This video will show you how to use our ASPX dashboard control to create a web application that will include both a dashboard designer and a viewer. I'll start by creating a new project and selecting ASP.NET Web Application. Click OK and select the empty template. First, create a master page that will share layout settings for the designer and viewer. Right click the project, select Add, Web Forms Master Page, and click OK. Then set the positioning of the content placeholder. To add a web form that will contain the dashboard designer, select Add Web Form with Master Page. Change its name to Designer Page and make sure that the dialog contains the previously created master page. Drag and drop the ASPX dashboard control and set the height and width properties to 100% to fill the entire page. Switch to the Design tab. Click the Control Smart tag and select Go to Getting Started. This topic helps us with how to prepare the dashboard control for its first use. In the documentation, you'll see that the web dashboard requires client libraries like jQuery and Globalize. To add these libraries, you'll need to add the resources section to the DevExpress settings in the web.config file. In this video, we'll copy these settings from the documentation. Now we need to create a special storage that will keep dashboards. Create the AppData folder. And add the dashboards folder inside AppData. Then go to the ASPX dashboard control and specify the dashboard storage folder property as a relative path to the created folder. Finally, we need to supply our designer application with a predefined data connection that will be used to bind a dashboard to a database. Copy and paste the sample connection string from the documentation to the web.config file. Change the path to the Northwind Access Database from Absolute to Relative. Now we need to add the nwin.mdb file to the app data folder. It acts as a data directory specified in the connection string. Right click app data and select add existing item. Locate the nwin.mdb file in DevExpress demos and click add. Set our designer page as a start page and run the application. And here's our web dashboard in a browser. Click Create to create a new dashboard. Change its name to Dashboard 1 and click the Create Data Source button to create a new data source. In the Data Source Wizard, select the end win connection, which was added to the web.config file, and click Next. On the next page, click Run Query Builder, locate the salesperson view, and drop it to the empty area. Select the All Columns checkbox and click Preview Results to see underlying data from the salesperson view. Click OK. And then Finish. Finally, click Create to create a dashboard bound to the added data source. Now you can add dashboard elements. Click the Chart icon to add a chart. Select the chart and use the link on its surface to bind it to data. Here, click Values and select the Extended Price field. 
Then click Add Argument and select Category Name. In Series, select Country. The chart will display extended price sums by different categories and countries. Add a tree view filter to filter the chart's data. Bind it to a hierarchy of order date fields with different group intervals. I'll choose year and quarter. Then enable the Auto Expand option to expand all values. Finally, save the dashboard. The dashboard XML definition will be saved to the App Data Dashboards folder. Now let's create a viewer page to display our dashboard. Select Add Web Form with Master Page and change its name to Viewer Page. Drag and drop the ASPX dashboard control from the toolbox again and copy the settings specified for the control from the designer page to the viewer page. This means that the dashboard viewer will use the same dashboard storage as the designer. Switch to the Design tab. In the Properties window, locate the Working Mode property and set it to Viewer only. This is the only difference between the settings of our designer and viewer. Set our viewer page as a start page and run the application. The viewer will display the dashboard stored by the dashboard storage folder path. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our web controls, check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.